In this video, I will be explaining orthographic projection of a pentagonal pyramid, pyramid which is pentagon in, pentagonal in shape. 30 mm base sides, its side of the base is 30 mm and 60 mm long axis height is 60 mm. It is freely suspended from one corner of the base so that a plane containing its axis remains parallel to VP. Now we know that a pentagonal pyramid has one base of pentagonal shape and its side is given, this side is given as 30 mm and this height is given 60 mm. All other faces of pyramid are isosceles triangles. Now we use the concept that when a body is freely suspended, then the point, the line joining A to this particular point, which is center of gravity of this uh, pyramid, this line should be vertical. You should use this concept. In all these type of problems, what we do is, uh, first we keep this pyramid on HP. That means it's uh, base is kept on HP. Therefore, uh, first step is to draw top view. Now you can uh, for that draw XY line and now you can draw top view which will be a pentagon in shape. So I have drawn this pentagon uh, in shape. Now but when you draw this uh, pentagon it should be oriented in such a way that one point uh, this one corner is kept in such a way that the two sides of that corner that these uh, two sides one side and this second side these two should be equally inclined from XY line so you can see that this line is parallel to XY line so these two sides are equally inclined these two are equally inclined so you start drawing pentagon from this point and you can draw we know that this angle is 108 degrees so you can draw these two angles as 54 degree and that way you can complete this pentagon you can keep pentagon like this way also here you can see that this corner from this corner these two lines are equally inclined from xy line if you draw this line parallel to xy line then these two, two are equally inclined so you mark all these points so you can see that this point is A, this point I have drawn this A, these are the all corners of the base A, B, uh, A, B, C, D and E and this O is this top uh, vertex. Now project all these points, all base points, so I am projecting all these base, base points, these are, uh, th since this base is kept on HP, so you are getting this in XY line. So this point will be A, this will be E and this will be D. Behind D you will get point C and behind E you will get B because we know that in first angle projection system we look from one side and draw other side. So we look from this side and draw here. So A, E, D are visible, B and C are invisible. So here you can see that A, A dash, E dash and D dash these points are visible and B dash and C dash are not visible. So draw an axis uh, from O this vertical line and this in, in this vertical line mark this 60 mm long height of this axis is uh, height of this pyramid is uh, 60 so mark this point O dash now from O dash join all these sides from O all A, O A, O B, O C, O D, O E all these uh, sides are there so join all these sides so you can see that uh, this is O A, O dash A dash, O dash E dash and O dash D dash uh, behind O dash D dash you have this O dash C dash and similarly O dash B dash also have you have uh, these are not visible and in this way you have completed this now in this uh, you have to mark center of gravity of the center of gravity gravity will lies on this axis at a height fr uh, from the base h by at h by 4 distance so here this distance you should take whatever is uh, total height is 60 mm so 1 fourth of 60 mm that is 15 mm you can take and uh, here you can mark at, at 15 mm distance one center point that will be the center of gravity so mark that center of gravity now join this a dash with g dash because we are suspending we will suspend this uh, pyramid uh, with respect to this point a uh, from a dash therefore join this line a dash to g dash a dash, a dash to G dash. Now you can see that this line, projection of this line in top view, this is uh, nothing but this AO because if you drop this projection, so this is parallel to XY line. Therefore, this A dash D, G dash um, is the true length of the line. So actual length of the um, uh, distance between A, uh, A dash to G dash is this length. Now what you have to do is you have to redraw this entire pyramid again but in such a way that this a dash g dash is vertical so first you should draw a, a dash g dash so i have drawn this a, a dash g dash uh, which is of same length of same length here mark this point as a dash and this point as g dash now from a dash uh, you can draw this uh, you can obtain this d dash point from a dash take this length take center a dash and draw an arc draw an arc similarly from g dash 
take this distance g dash to d dash use this your uh, protector uh, sorry uh, use your compass and then cent use center g dash and cut another arc another arc in this way you will be getting point d dash so join that uh, mark that point and join this line now in this line you have obtained this line a dash d dash now in this line you know this distance you measure this distance mark here that two points so you mark that two points now you can get this point o dash so measure this a dash to o dash and similarly measure from d dash to o dash so a dash to a dash to o dash and d dash to o dash so keep center a dash here and draw arc here and similarly uh, keep center here and this length d dash o dash and draw another arc and in that way mark point o dash mark point o dash and then join all these points so join this point that means again you have to redraw this entire figure again so here i have drawn this as thick line because this is the final front view so therefore i am drawing all these sides as thick um, using thick lines now you have to you should project all these points vertical projectors you can draw you draw all vertical projectors now to get all these points here in draw horizontal lines from a you can draw this one horizontal line from a i have drawn one a and o so this line is intersecting this line a so this is vertical projector of a this line and this is horizontal projector of a so intersection of these two points will be a so mark that point as a similarly you can uh, get all the points like o b c d e for example this is b and uh, this is b so this point will be b and this is c this is c so this will be c in that way you mark all these points uh, once you get all these points the so first step is draw all the outer edges so uh, from o to b b to c c to d in that way you should draw uh, first step is draw all outer edges with solid lines so you have joined this all outer edges with solid lines now uh, look in uh, look for uh, inside points so inside point is one point is there a so we know that we draw uh, when we look from one side and draw other side so we look from top and drawing this side so when you we look from the top you can see that a dash is visible so this a dash point this a point is visible so all the lines passing through a so whatever point uh, lines are passing through point uh, whatever lines joining with a are all 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 those lines should be solid lines so here you can see from a you can see a this is a so a to b is connected a to e is connected and a to o is connected so a is connected with these three lines so all these three lines should be solid lines so a to o this line a to b uh, a to e b this line and a to e this line so these three lines should be solid lines so draw all these lines as solid lines now next two lines are now remaining o to c and o to d now there is another rule that uh, two solid lines two lines which are intersecting each other will never be solid line both because uh, now we know that this ab ae and ao these are solid lines for sure so if you draw o to c if you draw a line o to c then that that line will intersect this ab o to c that will intersect ab therefore definitely o to c should be dashed line because two solid lines cannot intersect each other so in, that is the rule so that you should keep in keep it in mind so in that way you can draw this o to c because it is intersecting ab therefore this should be dashed line similarly uh, a to e uh, it is intersect o to d is intersecting a to e therefore this should be dashed line in this way you can draw this entire top view and this is what you will get uh, the required uh, required projection here uh, final statement it is given that plane containing its axis remains parallel to vp now you can see that this is my axis now this axis projection of this axis this point g is on axis so g is again you are overlapping with a so this is my axis o to a up to center point here i have not drawn the center point so this axis you can see that this axis is parallel to xy line so one plane passing through this axis is parallel to xy line so satisfying all the conditions so this is your final front view and this is final top view thank you for watching this video